Are you having a difficult time deciding which Mr. Heater you want? Well, let's look at their features and see which one suits you best. What's up everybody and welcome back to Outdoor Gear. My name is Aaron Bottoms and today we're going to dig deeper into our Mr. Heater series. If you've seen the first video, which you can see over here, you saw that they're pretty great products, but there's lots of different ones and features that have more suitability to different scenarios. So let's look at each individual one before we break them down in other videos. Starting from our smaller units to our large units, we've got the little buddy here. And I'm just going to strap this little tank on here. It doesn't have any propane in it. But I want to show you how this little guy sets up and how easy it is to get it going. So essentially you have an 8 inch stand that holds your little buddy up. It sits at about a 45 degree angle and this little guy puts out 3800 BTU. Now this is going to be for your simple personal use if you're sitting there and you want heat coming at you at a direction. Again heat rises up. so this is going to have to be pretty close because it's not putting out that much heat compared to some of our other units that we're going to look at but this is going to be great to put inside your home if you're in a cabin if you're just sitting around in a chair or something this is going to be nice to have blowing on your or pushing heat towards you and you're not going to be frigid out there in the open again this is not going to be your best item to be sitting against you if you're outside again because it's going to take up a lot of heat going up and around and so you're going to want to be standing right next to it. But not a lot, bad little heater. We'll dig deeper into this with its own little comparison that you'll see right here. But right now I just want to give you a showcase of what it is and what we're going to use it for. And if I was going to use this it would be probably sitting somewhere in my office here. You know when it's 30 degrees outside my little heater's not working that great. Maybe I'll put this beside me to give me some extra warmth first thing in the morning. And it sits on this one pound portable or one pound disposable tank here you can also hook the adapter to it but in that scenario it kind of flops all over but i'll show you what i'm talking about you can take the adapter here and hook it to your propane tank there we go so you slide it into the back section there this is your starting pilot light everything you click this button down the gas feeds up and underneath here and it'll start so let's get ignite ignition here and see if we get it going you can see the little flame there. You hold this red button in the back here the entire time. So it goes up and then that thing will cover the entire surface. You've also got an off button right here. If you want to click it off, it cuts the flame out and you're good to go. But we'll let it back up. Hold it for, they say 30 seconds. It doesn't have to be 30 seconds, but it helps to hold it longer to make sure that stays on there. This red section here will get hot. It says so on the top. So be aware of that. One key thing that I've already figured out is it sits at a 45 degree angle for a reason. If it goes past that 45 degree angle, uh, falls down its face, left to right, it turns off. Most of these have their integrated tip over system, so if it falls over, it cuts off. This is gonna heat a small space, 95 square foot. So we talked about the 45 degree heating angle. When you start this bad boy up, you gotta keep it at that because it's got a tip over system. So if it falls forward, left, right, whatever it may be, this thing will cut off to keep you safe. It also has a low oxygen system, so if it seems to sense that there's low oxygen in the room, if it's indoors, it will also cut off. Again, this thing puts out a nice little bit of radiant heat from the front there. And that's pretty much it on the little buddy. Well, like I said, in a separate video, we'll actually break this thing down and see what it's really made of. But for right now, we've got to move on. All right, so for our second heater, we've got out our propane heater and cooker. Essentially, this bad boy comes in two pieces here, so it breaks down a little bit which I've got it on there and it doesn't want to come off. It slides right in like so. And we've went ahead and hooked up our 20 pound propane tank again, but this is made for a one pound propane tank. So as you can see, you can set your pans, pots, whatever it may be right on here on top and you're good to go. Now to light it, you've got to push it in this little button here on the side and you have to come in from the other side with a lighter. Now, this is not made for indoor. This is made for outdoor, which is why you have to light it this way, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be great, and we can use this for cooking outside. So we're going to put it on low. So you've got three settings here, low, medium, and high. Your low is going to be your 10,000 BTU. Your medium is going to be your 12,000, and your high is going to be your 15,000. You hold your light down here, 
we'll go ahead and get this lighter started here. And there you go. So as you can see, the top gets hot immediately. You're gonna be able to cook your food on it. You're gonna be able to flip it upright to use it as a heater. If you wanna put it right in front of you like that little buddy. And this one's actually gonna put out a little bit more. Now, the safety features on this aren't as ideal. An automatic safety shut off if it, well, not really. We'll get into that in its own separate review. I was hoping it would turn off a little bit better than that. But it's got an automatic safety shut off, I'm sure, if it starts running low on gas or propane. But this, again, is not going to be for your indoor use. This is simply for cooking or if you're sitting outside and you need some direct heat. If we turn this bad boy up, we get our 15,000 BTU. And if we turn it down or off, we'll put it back on low, we've got our 10,000. This is very simple. It's a very simple design. It's almost like your sunflower heater that you're going to put out there. It's meant to give off direct radiant heat and move forward. And I'm glad we're doing these heaters today because my hands are a little cold today. But simple design, simple use, start it up, use it, cook on it. All right. Moving on to our Mr. Buddy portable heater. This is the tried and true design that we use all the time, especially in the blind and everything like that. So this is the one we use most often. But as you know, if you've seen any other videos out there, there are two different sizes. You've got the regular, then you've got the extra large. They both do the same thing. So we're just gonna use our regular one that we have used in our previous video right here. So again, we will take our handy dandy propane paint tank here and we'll screw it in again you can use your one pound propane tank but we want to use the 20 because it's sitting right here and it goes a lot longer and it is nice to use screw that in all the way you got your pilot light up here you push down on pilot until it takes there we go you hold it down once it stays on by itself, you can put it on low and the whole surface will light up. Now again, this stays at 4,000 BTU all the way up to 9,000 BTU when it's on high. Again, this is gonna put out radiant heat out front. Heat will rise. We've talked about this in a previous video. I just wanna showcase it compared to the other guys. This is gonna be great for inside your home and heating up a smaller space, nothing huge. If you can tell, it's cold outside. I've got the door open so that the lens doesn't fog up for you. But, great little unit, pilot light cut off because I cut the gas off, put it on high, and it puts out your heat. Again, I'm not going to get too much into this because you can go watch the other video specifically on this heater. But, let's move on to the big guy. Alright, and as we get to our final heater here that I have with me, we have the Buddy Flex. And it's called the Buddy Flex because it is also open up this door here and run your extra hose from the actual unit itself to a cooker that attaches to it and then is sold separately that we don't have with us. So that's a cool feature of it. It's got electronic ignition. So there's a red button back here. Click that bad boy down. You can hear it cooking and we'll go ahead and start her up. Yeah. Take a minute here to get lit up. There we go. She's trying to catch. You just hold the pilot light down or pilot button down until she catches all the way. Now you can let go. You can see the pilot light has been lit and we will move this over to the low setting. Now, this goes from 8,000 BTU all the way up to 11,000 BTU. So the portable heater, you start at 4,000, go to 9,000. This guy starts at 8,000, goes to 11,000. It's got a 180 degree heating surface here. So you and your buddies can stand on around it. You can get one guy, probably two guys around it. Again, heat rises. So if your buddy wants to stand over top of it, God bless them. This is a wonderful unit for kind of a larger space when it comes down to it. It heats up to about 295 square feet. Again, when you're using these outdoors, you're going to lose a lot of heat. But like I'm in my shed right here, this would be great for me first thing in the morning. I've got the, the, the little buddy, he, he may do his job, but this guy here I can put beside me and make sure I warm up this space fairly quickly. Now my hands are chilly because I've been out here doing this. 
cool features is it has a handle right on top here. Um, again, you can hook an accessory to it. Now, when you have the accessory on, you're not gonna run this unit and the accessory. It's either one or the other, no big deal. Has an extra door on the back right here that you can put your line in, store it up, roll it in there, and close the door, and it stays nice and safe and sound for you. It's got an anti-wind, so if the wind blows on it, we've talked about the portable buddy, the wind can kind of blow out that pilot light. This has an anti-wind, it has a little shield in front of it, so if the wind's blowing real hard, it's supposed to help. Again, we're gonna do its own review later down the road, but I wanted to showcase some of the features that compare. This is gonna be great for a little bit larger of a space. It's gonna be great for multiple people compared to the other guys. It's not gonna be something extravagant while you're outdoors. I think that about covers everything, guys. You can find these videos. We're gonna have separate videos comparing individual things and their actual, what they're made of and how they hold up to my test. Hopefully they don't all break down because I wanna use these bad boys. I'm excited to have them in the shop and be excited to have them this year when it gets cold. We appreciate everybody that is watching and watching the Mr. Heater videos. They are blowing up and we really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's great. We've, we've had a lot of great comments and we really appreciate it. So thank you everybody for everything that you've done so far. We've hit over 150 subscribers in a very short period of time compared to some other channels out there. So keep watching, keep enjoying, and we will see you later.